hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how you can install the kali linux on the virtual box so first of all you need to install the virtual box and then we will install the kali linux iso file only two tools we need so first of all type their virtual box download like so and go to first link of their official website and from here choose the host in my case I'm choosing here Windows host you just need to click on this and it will start download also you need to install the VirtualBox extension that is optional but you can choose it to install it you just need to run it here just double click on it to run on only simple process you just need to download it as you can see here I have already done the installing the VirtualBox and I have installed Windows 7 and 10 on it so after that we need to install the Kali Linux go to first link of their official website and we are going to download the ISO file of the Kali Linux just click on download and this is the latest version and from here you will see two options we are going to choose this option installer image just click on download and you will see here the 64 bit operating system just need to click on this option download button if you are using the 32 bit operating system just choose that option but in my case I am choosing 64 bit now you can see it is going to take around 13 minutes and it is almost 4 GB so let me pause the video for 13 minutes and then I will resume once this ISO is downloaded and this is the latest version at this point of time 2024.3 now after waiting for almost 15 minutes the ISO file is downloaded completely so now close this now let's open the virtual box and in the virtual box you need to click on new and give the name Kali now this is the location of the VM but if you want to change it into the other folder like the other drive if you have free space in D drive or E drive you can choose that I am leaving it as default 30 GB is minimum recommended for it ISO file you can choose here click on other then go to download now you can see select the Kali Linux we can choose it later also but I am choosing here now once selected click on next now you can give it to 2 GB at least but 4 GB is recommended for it and two cores are recommended for this click on next and 30 GB is minimum required for VM and you can give it more if you have I am giving it 30 GB click on next and we are good to go finish now once it is selected go to settings we need to tweak some changes here as well go to system and you can choose later on as well here display drag it to 128 MB leave storage as default go to network choose here the bridge connection this one you can use the internet in the Kali Linux if you are facing any kind of issues you can choose the net one okay now we are good to go from here click on ok now start the virtual machine Kali now powering up the virtual machine you just need to wait here guys now you will see interface like this you just need to click on first option which says graphical install select that option or you can press any key now choose your language here I am leaving it English next and your reason I am selecting here India press I next American English the keyboard language next now host name whatever you like to give I am giving it Kali click on next domain name just leave it blank hit next and the user name 
also given it Kali hit next now set up the user and password username hit next with the Kali now password reconfirm it and click on continue now in here choose the first option which is guided use entire disk and select next and you can see here we have given the 30 GB so it's showing that 32 GB then click on continue now select as it is next Now select as it is here, click on continue, just leave everything default, finish partition writing changes to disk, next, hit yes option here, click on next, now installation is begin, just wait here, now select here next option. So after waiting for almost 30 minutes, I got this screen. So you need to click on yes option. It should be automatically ticked. So click on continue and choose your virtual drive. This is the virtual drive which we have created. Just click on next. And now we are almost done with the installation. Now you should see the installation is complete and click on continue button here. now it should reboot again and you can see here the options just hit enter or it will automatically booting now you should see this screen this is the Kali Linux screen now your username should be here so I have selected here Kali and then the password click on login so now you can see guys we have successfully installed the Kali Linux on our system so we have switched the full screen of Kali Linux on our system so I hope this video is really helpful for you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you Thanks for watching.